Good morning, Panthers. Today is Friday, December 4th, 2020. Please join me for a few moments of morning prayer and reflection. Today, we celebrate the feast of St. John, a monk from Damascus, who was a prolific writer in defense of the Christian faith. We hear today that the prophet Isaiah speaks of how the Messiah will take on the sins of the world and will suffer greatly, even though he is blameless. The word infirmities means frailties. Transgressions means violations of law, command, or duty. And iniquities means wicked acts or sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. See, my servant shall prosper. He was despised and rejected by others, and we held him of no account. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases, yet we accounted him stricken and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, <clears throat> and by his bruises we are healed. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. They made his grave with the wicked and his tomb with the rich, although he had done no violence, and there was no deceit in his mouth. The word of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. Have you ever been blamed for something you did not do? Dear God, we eagerly await the birth of your son, Jesus, with a hopeful heart. Help us to stay awake and alert to your presence in our lives. And may we see Jesus in one another this Advent season. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Panthers, please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Today, our flag comes to us from Maria in third grade. Thank you, Maria. The lighting isn't too great, but I love the detail of how it's waving. Very nice. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much for that. We have no birthdays to announce today, so a very happy unbirthday to everyone. In case you missed the um, announcement in the good news yesterday, I'd like to hope our highlight this week's student of virtue. This week's student of virtue exemplifies the virtue of gratitude. She always says please and thank you to her teachers and classmates. This summer, she saved money from babysitting and used that money to help a friend when she found out that friend was in need. We'd like to thank Kylie Graff for being a wonderful example to us all of the virtue of gratitude. All right, Panthers, it's crazy sock day. Sorry, I forgot to remind everybody and I forgot myself, but um, I've already seen some crazy socks this morning, so I'm glad to see people are taking advantage of that. Our virtual learners in junior high can wear whatever they want today, so um, it's a special dress down day for them. Also, uh, just a continued thank you to everybody for stepping up to help out around the building. Um, it's been an interesting week as we've accepted some new challenges, but it's been great, and we're all looking forward to a great weekend. Today is an, a 1 p.m. dismissal. So we will send a reminder to parents about that. All right, everyone, as we head into the weekend and begin our Friday, let's sign off with our St. Anthony Faith Pledge. We, the students and faculty of St. Anthony de Padua Catholic School, vow to be Christ's light for the world. May our eyes see Christ in one another. May our mouths speak words of love and kindness. May our ears listen for ways to serve. May our hands reach out to help and may our feet walk closely with Jesus so that we may live in his light. Jesus, light for our world, shine in us and through us. Panthers, have a great day and St. Anthony de Padua, pray for us. <laughs>